I bought this shop eight months ago, I had some lofty dreams. One of which was putting in a sawmill so I could saw pigs like this. So I just bought this 70 inch monster. Sun's out and it's finally time to set up the sawmill. <laughs> How does it go down more? So I am highly unqualified to do this part. So we're bringing in Jason, who's an operator, but the mill's gonna live right here on a 50 foot pad of a lake concrete. It's French concrete. I lied, it's American. And uh, we're gonna link up with our friends from Frank Bryan who helped out in Sam's backyard. We're gonna go number three on the bottom and then pack that in with the smaller stuff on top. I don't know the specifics and we got a guy for that. Now these rocks need tamped down so we can put the pad on top of it. So we rented the trusty old, his name would be Whacker, the trusty old Whacker. I've never used one of these before, so I think the phrase goes, win or lose we booze, or rain or shine we tamp. It is about seven o'clock in the morning. Concrete truck's coming in 25 minutes. Jason was here till 3.30 in the morning in a rainstorm because he's a fucking animal. But we gotta get this rebar in the next 20 minutes. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. We need this done, literally, like yesterday. I love fucking bending over. And I only think I have a fracture in my back. What's wrong? You're supposed to be doing the work. But we just got the last tie in, uh, and I think that was record time. What do you think, Tyler? Pretty close to record time if we were taking record. I don't know what's next. All I know is that I'm not the boss today. <laughs> Truck one's done. Everyone's still breathing. Tyler's suspect on his breaths at the moment. We might need professional assistance, but I don't know. Does it look good? Is it going well? Someone with experience? Yeah, it's not going too bad. It's not going too bad. That's a good standard. Slightly above average, as always. But uh, excuse us, we have to get back to work. When you ask if I did any work, it's speculative. I sure as hell worked it, staring at Jason do the work. Two weeks later. And after two long awaited months, we finally have a pad to put the sawmill on. We've got some electrical stuff ready to rock and roll too. We should be sawing logs here pretty soon. First thing we need to do is get the rails set into the concrete though. And we had to wait extra time for it to dry because foreign concrete doesn't allow you to be an impatient child like me. We gotta get her out of her corner. I put it on six car dollies to roll it around the shop for this exact moment. So we'll see how brilliant or how stupid I actually am. See how big I feel today and push it. Be a man, they say. <laughs> Darn, damn it. <laughs> Someone's gotta film. Oh, that was awful. Inside of the first wheel, it's 83 on the dot. Okay, now we need to set where we wanna locate our first rail and then come 83 from the inside of that to the inside of this next one. And that should be the distance we're looking for. We need to shim up a couple parts here. So we're just gonna bolt it in on the front and the back, come in, we'll knock the shims in from the side, pull from this one to the next rail, and then get the uh, actual mill set onto this. And we should be rolling here in an hour or so, I think. Clear. Up there, my hernia, she's set. Woo! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Oh, it's amazing! So we're wired in. It's turned to on. She's bolted to the ground. My butthole's puckered. Time to send it. Dramatic explosion. Let's go. Something's stuck. We forgot to tighten the belt. <laughs> Try this again. Oh shit, son! It's working! It's crazy the blade's louder than the motor because it's electric. We probably gotta lube some stuff. I will say, we were talking and we're thinking we should name the mill Dr. Hank McCoy. If you know where I'm going with that, leave a comment down below. Now, we need to test it on a log.
And this vlog's trash. Say we stop wasting our time. <laughs> so we've got a Pukaki log on the mill. We're just trying to dial in our settings here, and then we're gonna finish cutting the log that we started cutting in the first log video we ever did. I just wanna get one good pass on a trash log uh, before we do anything else. So, fire it up! It's a roller coaster. Someone grab that side. Oh, shit. One, two, three. Go figure. I think we need a new blade. I don't know, but I'm looking at the blade. There's like eight, maybe 10, 12 teeth missing on the part that I'm looking at right now. This way. He said we should be rotating 30 blades. Let me go get gloves. Hold on, Sam. You're on? Yep. Okay. Okay, watch out. <laughs> I made a flat cut! <laughs> We're still on logs. Yeah. These are from my mom's house three years ago. I'm gonna dump these and then I'll pick this up, dump it, and then I wanna get that guy. So let's get that guy cleaned up. Yeah, and then we'll get some real slabs. So before we jump into the actual slab, I know a bunch of you are probably curious about the mill. So let me walk you through it. So this is a True Cut EHS 70, which is an electric powered bandsaw mill. We're running a two inch blade and we've got a 30 foot track. The width between the tracks is 83 inches, and we can cut up to a maximum of 70 inches. And it has a cutting depth of right around 26 inches. The band itself is 24 feet long, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's got this massive 30 horsepower, three phase motor that's wired directly into the building, and there's a VFD in there. I think it's called a VFD, yeah. Which does something electrical. Let me know down in the comments if you know what that means. The whole thing is powered by hydraulics. It's got up, it's got down, it's got forward and back, so essentially one person can operate the mill. She's a monster. We're gonna learn how to use it and bring ins along for the journey. And the kicker that I know a bunch of you wanna know, cost right under $60,000 delivered to the door. And we still have got a bunch of stuff we need to invest in in order to get this thing running properly. Now, let's actually saw a real log. This is our first official log that we don't want to turn into firewood. <laughs> we knew that other log was gonna be junk. This one, we got off my buddy Brendan's property a couple months ago, brought it in. I slabbed three, four slabs with a chainsaw mill, almost died. I might die, I, might, I definitely wanna puke. Then I went and bought this, and now we're here. Let's rip. Hey, are you a woodworker who is loving what you're doing in the shop and wish you could do it full time? Well, great news, I just launched a course that is helping hundreds of people already go from taking their garage hobby and turning it into their full time job. If that's something that would interest you, check out the link down below, craftycareer.com. We've got a full course and multiple tiers that'll help you take your dream of being a full time woodworker and put it into reality. It's crazy how much nicer it cuts in a piece of uh actually non-crumbling, non-rotted wood. We're gonna get something really cool in here, I think. You wanna do the first bucket ever? I'll let you have the honors. Sure. This way with it. Three, two, one. You missed half the damn log. <laughs> I got 75%. You missed half the log. Not bad, water's staying on top of it because it's nice and flat. We're gonna get like a crazy inclusion in here, I feel like. This will be interesting. All right, let's keep ripping. I know, did you hear it? It hit something. That is probably a bullet or just a big old chunk of metal. That's like what happens with all of these urban trees is that's why like sawmills don't take them. So this thing's already dinged. I probably need to bring the pressure back up on it. I feel like Matt Cremona. I feel like there's metal right here. Yeah. I think we should flip this log. Yeah, 
did the same thing. Yeah, it seems like the blade's already dull because we nicked those two pieces of metal on the other side. But I don't want to cut the rest of the log knowing there's metal in it. We just keep f***ing dinging and ruining blades. I think we put a fresh blade on. We can get five slabs out of this. And it's not a bad log. Because we dinged another blade, we're gonna try one of these Morse blades. So I gotta swap this one out. And we're now on our third blade, and I think we've made six slabs. So far, it's super affordable endeavor we've gotten into here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Folding bandsaw blades. All right, so that one's dull. So our friends at Morse sent us over some blades for this sucker. Uh-oh, Sam. They have like a pretty specific way of opening these. They're carbides. So the carbide is supposedly a much more durable uh, bandsaw blade for sawmills. So super stoked to be working with Morse and those guys hooking it up. This should alleviate our problem with running into any metal. Guys, it feels totally different. You think this one will do it too? It's like quarter sawn though. They're good. It's, it's well, bow tie right now. Bow tie right now. Let's take this one then. <laughs> oh, it's got a bark inclusion. <laughs> it's the original river table. What's your plan? We we usually let it slide. All right. What? Grab the hose. Did they had one hose at Home Depot. Even though it's oak, just imagine it like in your camp, right? Awesome dining table for camp, or like a more rustic kind of like a a look. It's a good tree. That's why I was like pissed when we caught the metal. Let's flip this one over and see if she's as good. It's like as thin as you'd really want. If we could keep them flat drying, supposedly, and like two and a half inches is where you want to be. Three takes like twice as long to dry. You're balancing that. But a lot of guys will cut them at three because it gives them a lot more leeway. So we're going to learn. Like I said, even though it's oak, look at the figure I put it in, the house. in there. That's awesome. I don't know about you guys. But I'm super fired up. With that cut, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Make sure you're subscribed. We got lots more log cutting stuff to come. And if you wanna see all the log things we've done up till now, the playlist right here.